candidate on this one. When it comes to the number one Google question with Donald Trump, was he really for the Iraq war? Google Donald Trump Iraq, and you will see the dozens of sources which verify that he was for the invasion of Iraq. Wrong. Well, our partners over at PolitiFact finding Trump, in fact, said he supported troops going into Iraq during a 2002 interview with Howard Stern. Question number two, what did Justice Ginsburg really say about Donald Trump? She was forced to apologize, and apologize she did. But these were statements that should never, ever have been made. She, in fact, called him a faker in a CNN interview, saying he has no consistency about him. And what does bigly mean? We're going to speed up the process, bigly. Trump has said the word on several occasions, but there's a chance he could be saying big league. Either way, bigly is, in fact, a real word. Dictionary.com tweeting out the meaning during the debate. Bigly is basically the adverb of the word big, or huge, if you will. And the number four Googled question about Donald Trump, did he really call Hillary Clinton a nasty woman? My Social Security payroll contribution will go up, as will Donald's, assuming he can't figure out how to get out of it. Uh, but what we want to do is to replenish the Social Such a Security nasty Trust woman. Fund. Yes. Yes, he did. Now the big questions that were Googled about Hillary Clinton. First and foremost, number one, what does Roe v. Wade mean? It's a woman's right to choose when it comes to abortion law from the 1973 landmark decision by the Supreme Court. And Clinton's stance on it? The government has no business in the decisions that women make with their families in accordance with their faith, with medical advice. And a lot of conversation last night about the Clinton Foundation. So what really happened with that? It's a and criminal enterprise, and so many people like know it. There have been allegations of pay-to-play of sorts with the nonprofit, but Clinton claims it's an organization that has done nothing but help the less fortunate, including helping some 11 million people with HIV-AIDS treatment. This next one might be shocking, but I can't make it up. What did Clinton delete again? Emails, people. Emails that were eventually recovered by the FBI. A few months ago, the FBI saying they couldn't find any evidence to criminally charge Clinton. And all this conversation about tax returns, many of you asking, well, where can I find Hillary Clinton's tax returns? I'll show you. She put them all up on her website, HillaryClinton.com.